What is going on and welcome back to Terry's Theories. I am Terry. Hey, I want to show you guys some new amazing footage from YouTube channel Jean Michel Tenek from an Earthbound Telescope in Montreal. Alright guys, check this out. So some truly amazing footage put out by YouTube channel Jean Michel Tenek. Amazing. Now, look at the shadows that these objects are casting on the moon. These objects are huge. Could they be the same tic tac objects that we have seen uh, in our atmosphere that during the Nimitz incident? Could they be the same craft? Where do these crafts come from? Is there activity going on on the dark side of the moon? Do they come from there? Is there a base on the dark side of the moon? Could they be our crafts? Now it reminds me of another video that I posted a while back. Now this was posted a couple years ago and it shows um, four large crafts that disappear on the back side of the moon and where do these crafts come from now it's hard to tell if these are the same shape because it's from such a odd angle and distance could these be the same crafts could there be some type of port or uh, spaceport or some kind of facility or base on the dark side of the moon that these crafts are going to or currying from could there be mining operations going on or some kind of hub? Guys, this is uh, some amazing footage. You know, during our Apollo missions, when we walked on the moon, there was a point where there was two minutes of silence and there was a supposed conversation that went on when our astronauts said, there are large crafts on the crater's edge and they're just watching us. Could these be the types of crafts that were watching them, that were landing on the moon, uh, on the crater's edge? Now, imagine what, if we can see this from Earth, imagine what the ISS has witnessed. Now, we uh, catch the occasional glimpse of some fleeting object or UFO or some barely in focused object that we can't really tell what it is. But nothing like this. Nothing as detailed as this. Imagine what they have seen, what they have witnessed, or what they have recorded. Imagine what NASA knows. And another thing, these crafts are traveling in a chevron formation, uh, a military formation. I just wanted to put that out there. Now, I'm not saying that they're military, but there's some intelligence behind the way that they're moving. That is a, a standard formation. Any pilot of any aircraft that, you know, would tell you, you know, that's a, a standard three craft formation. You know, guys, in, in my opinion, this should be headline news. This should be playing on every major news network around the world. Showing, you know, that, hey, we know. Look at this. This is not NASA. This is not SpaceX. We don't have oval shaped crafts. I mean, come on. I'm going to show you another video. Now, this is recorded in Stockton, California. Same shaped craft. Now, this is recent. Same shaped craft. It appeared to be the same ones that were on the moon. 
So I'm telling you guys, they're related. They are the same crafts that we have been seeing on Earth as they are on the moon. Uh, we just got lucky and caught them with a telescope. This, I mean, they're not trying to hide. They're sitting in plain sight for all to see. Look at the similarities. You know, Stockton, California on the right, the moon on the left. I mean, they look just like any other Tic Tac that we have seen uh, videos of. So interstellar crafts, uh, they can fly in the atmosphere and in outer space. Could this be uh, an amazing step forward in technology for the human race? Or do we have something else going on? Do we have visitors that are getting bolder and bolder? I wonder what's next. If they are flying our skies with uh, no regard if we see them or not. Do you think our government knows about this? Do you think uh, they have asked our world's governments for permission? Or do you think they're just observing us? Maybe they've got orders. Do not, you know, observe, but do not interfere. Or, or maybe not. You know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just theorizing, guys. Change is coming. Change is among us. Um, UFOs have been seen in our skies as far back as the first written word. Look at the similarities in all three of these videos. Could these crafts be a part of the same fleet? Uh, could they come from the same place? The one thing that they have in common is the moon. You know, they all come from the dark side of the moon or the side of the moon that does not face us now could that be coincidence could it be just line of travel or is there something on the other side of the moon that we aren't told about or do not know about i find it hard to believe uh, with all the uh spacecrafts and satellites that we have in orbit that we do not know what is going on on the back side of the moon and that we have not or these crafts have not been picked up by satellite or other devices or the ISS so these crafts that we see aren't a mystery I, I believe you know the world's governments or our own government know exactly what they are and where they come from all right guys I'm gonna wrap up the video but before I go I want to give a shout out to three awesome ufology channels uh, first one being uh, YouTube channel Zeal. Uh, this dude puts in some great videos, great ufology videos. He's all over YouTube. Uh, check him out. He's, he's working hard and putting out the work. And also, uh, The Hidden Underbelly. Uh, man, this cat has got some awesome stuff. Uh, he puts out some great ufology videos as well. Um, paranormal videos. Interesting channel. Um, go, go look. Go check him out. And last but not least, uh, ET Database, Scott C. Waring. Uh, this dude has got an awesome mind for ufology. He uh, has some crazy theories. Um, he's got an awesome channel and also a website. Go check these guys out. They're working hard. They're putting in the effort. And they're turning out good stuff. Go check them out. Tell them Terry sent you. All right, guys. <clears throat> don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you could donate... That would be great. Uh, I got PayPal and Patreon and uh, both uh, bases there. If you donate to them, will go towards the Nikon Coolpix P1000 camera fund. Um, trying to secure a camera for the channel to record the moon and maybe I can catch some amazing uh, video as what we saw here today. All right, guys. Like I said, like and subscribe. This is Terry with Terry's Theories. Terry out.